Hey guys, I'm Akisha, and today I'll be conducting a few experiments to investigate the process of refraction. First of all, what is refraction? Refraction is basically when light bends as it passes from one medium to another. In today's experiments, the two mediums are going to be air and water. Join me to find out more about refraction. First off, we have an arrow that's pointing to the left. When the arrow is moved behind a glass of water, it changes direction. This is because of refraction, which, as I mentioned earlier, is when light bends as it passes from one medium to another. In this case, the two mediums are air and water. Refraction has similar effects on patterns and text, too. Let's take a look at some examples. Here's an example of reversed text. When we move it behind the glass, it spells out my name. Next, we have a pattern of diagonal lines. Like the arrow, the lines change direction when moved behind the glass of water, instead facing the opposite direction. Last but not least, we have two colored rectangles. As it moves behind the glass, the red and blue rectangles switch places. This can especially be seen when the middle of the pattern passes by. Notice how, if you place the paper right behind the glass with no space in between, the image is not refracted. This is because there's no room for air in between the paper and the glass, which means that the light only passes through water. However, the images are still slightly refracted because the glass is curved, which lets a bit of air through. Now, let's see what effect refraction has on a straw in a glass of water. As the light reflected off the straw passes from water to air, it changes direction and gets refracted. This is why the straw appears bent and broken. Here's a diagram of the process. The pink arrows show how the light rays bend at the surface of the water and cause the straw to look broken. 
Here's something I find interesting. If we drop a coin into an empty glass, we can see that it's at the bottom. But when we pour in some water, the coin appears to rise into view as the water level rises. When water is poured in, the rays of light reflecting off the coin pass from air to water, causing the rays to refract. As a result, it seems that there are two images of the coin, one at the bottom of the glass and one floating. You'll have to look at the glass from an angle in order to see the effect though. If you look at it from above, below, or just straight at it, you'll only see the coin at the bottom. This is a diagram to sum up the process. It depicts the two images of the coin, and the black arrows represent the refraction of the rays as they pass through the two mediums, air and water. So, what do you think? Science can be pretty cool, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my refraction experiments and learned something new today. I think that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. See you when I see you. Bye! Oh, before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like, comment down below, and share my videos if you find them interesting. Who knows, maybe someone else could gain knowledge too. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Sayonara!